Military Makeover is brought to you in part by Nautica and ADT. Members of our nation's military have a dedication to serve. But the question is, who serves them when they return home? Well, all of us here at Military Makeover are determined to give back by providing a complete home makeover, all at no cost to the veteran. Now, it sounds like a mission impossible, right? But it's not when you're dealing with the best partners, products, volunteers, and crew in the business. Ryan Stanley is our construction manager. He's the heart of the operation giving everything he's got to make things happen. I love demoing ugly kitchens. Jennifer Bertrand is our interior designer. She's responsible for making a home for our veterans, a place to help them start a new life. I cannot wait to show them what fun things are in store for them. Marcus Luttrell is the newest addition to our team. He's the eyes, ears, and boots on the ground. Right, morning already? And yours truly, my name is Art Edmonds. I coordinate all the partners and volunteers we need in order to make these dreams a reality for our veterans. I know you're the one in charge. I'm just telling you what we need. Together, we're Team Military Makeover. And this is Operation Cornelius Family. All right, so we're at the home of Aaron Cornelius and his wife, Melissa. Melissa knows she's in on this, but Aaron has absolutely no idea that he's going to be the next recipient of a military makeover. So I can't wait to see their reaction. Come on, get them quiet. Can't wait, this is the, this is the best part. Hi, Aaron. You don't know me, but uh, nice you, I work with this TV show called Military Makeover, and I know that you probably talked to some of our producers, but uh, we had so many great candidates, so many deserving veterans, much like yourself. Uh, unfortunately, you know, we can only pick one. Well, of course. So the bad news is that you're going to have to move out of your house for a week while we come in here and make over your house because you're the next recipient of Military Makeover. What? Oh my goodness! I'm usually the one helping people, not well, doing listen, stuff. This is really nice. I want to see your house so we can sort of figure out exactly what we can do to make your life better. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, do you mind if we go in? I served in the military 18 years. I would say E7, which was a sergeant first class promotable. If I would have been in a little bit longer, I would have been able to be a master sergeant. Army Sergeant First Class Aaron Cornelius served three tours of duty in Iraq until he was injured by an IED, causing massive trauma to his skull and rendering him immediately blind. Despite all of the injury and trauma, he remained conscious and in command of his unit until the mission was completed. I experienced a uh, IED that exploded underneath me that took my eyesight immediately, part of my skull, punctured some uh, arteries in my neck, and uh, that was pretty much it for me, and uh, I was uh, removed from the military in 2010. Within just a few years of returning home, Aaron suffered yet another loss with the death of his beloved wife and mother of his five children. Many of our nation's military have suffered physical damages, some of them psychological damages, and some, like Aaron, have suffered both. Here at Military Makeover, we're hoping to give back and give him a fresh start in a new place that he can call home. Having suffered some devastating losses in such a short period of time, Aaron admittedly let some things slide, namely the upkeep of this Bradenton, Florida home. And I have a feeling it's going to be our biggest challenge yet. 
So, whoa, what is this, guys? You have like a medieval uh, dungeon room going on yes. over here. This is uh, kind of my hobby and my passion is the medieval days. Well, we'll have to talk with our designer, Jen, and she'll have to work that in. But first, listen, obviously we're here to make things better for you. So we have to address the elephant in the room here. Yes. Is there literally an elephant in this room? Because the smell from those dogs yes. and those yes. cats, right? Absolutely. And I'm not b being disrespectful at no, all. No, it's OK. You have a lot of animals. That's yes. a wonderful thing. You're animal lovers. I uh, think that the floors yes. have to go. we got to yeah. get this carpet out of here. Now, let's talk about with your challenges, uh, lack of sight specifically. Mm -hmm. Do you find that the different floor textures are a challenge to walk on, going from tile to carpet? Does it trip you up at all? Actually, in a lot of ways, it's more beneficial to me. That, okay. So I know that if I pass this, oh, OK, this is the. This is the uh, collector room, you know, and right. it kind of gives me an idea where I'm at. Okay, so you can feel when you go from a hard surface to the carpeted yes. surfaces. So, yes. So we want to kind of, we don't want to lose that entirely, though, right? right. No, 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 we okay. don't. I mean, we, I like to, like, for this instance, uh, love to lose this, and I bang into that he quite a bit. He hits that thing all the time. He runs into it all the time. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? A Should bad we get thing. rid of that or no? I would say uh, yeah. at least the glass. Okay. All right, well, listen, let's talk kitchen, because that's um, always the center and the heart of the home. Since you do the cooking, what do you think would be most helpful to you? I mean, the uh, stove appliances are kind of out of date. The cabinets, the, I mean, everything. The cabinets. These cabinets are, you know, old laminated this cabinets. This has been giving me a problem because this burner has gone out, so it's been taking me a million hours to just cook a simple meal. Oh. This is actually, it's, it's pretty much his gym. So you got this big Nautilus thing here. Do you want to keep it as a gym room, Aaron? Well, I mean, yeah. I would yeah. like to keep the, you know, gym somewhere, somehow, right. uh, because it's hard for me to get to the gym all the time. Ryan, you out there? I'm here, I'm here, yeah. I'm here, I'm taking hey. measurements. Yeah, okay, so listen. You need some kind of guide posts to kind of guide you around the house. Do you think he can design something that inside the door he knows what room he's in when he touches it? Is that sure, it? absolutely. This is a challenge for you, Ryan. It is. This would be uh, the first time that I've done a home with ADA specifically for blindness. It sounds silly, but like when I'm carrying a bunch of clean laundry oh, and yeah. trying to guide myself mm -hmm. to where I need to go, oh, yeah. That would help him instantly. Yeah. So okay. what about like landmarks that you would feel with your foot? No, absolutely. Things like that would help out so much. Okay. We continued our tour of the Cornelius home, including the master suite, Aaron's DJ station, and his daughter Gabby's bedroom. We do have a couple serious issues. I have a very good suspicion that that whole back bedroom that his father-in-law did years ago. Um, it probably wasn't done to code. It probably wasn't permitted. I get really concerned when she tells me that there's a couple young children and herself that have been having some respiratory problems. I've never dealt with uh, ADA compliance for blindness, so I got to do a lot of homework. I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to make things more challenging for him. And finally, it's just, uh, it's a lot of house. We oh are God. so excited. We are so ecstatic. Oh my God, like I'm screaming in my head right now. <laughs> He's pinching me. <laughs> I'm so excited. With the Cornelius family temporarily moved out, Ryan and his army of volunteers can finally get to work on the demo. Snow cones for everybody. Oh, yeah. We're tearing out those nasty carpets, relocating the gym equipment, busting out the old cabinets, and we're getting rid of the broken down appliances. We got the piece of the granite where the sink is, and just before we set it down, it cracked. So I don't know if it's salvageable or not. We're just going to set it aside, and fingers crossed we get some new counters out of it. All right, so let's take a look around and see what's going on here. A lot of activity already underway on day one. 
All right, looking good in here. So there's plenty of work already happening, as you can see. We've got primer going up on the walls. All of that stinky carpet is gone. Uh, thank goodness, because in here it was a little rough with all the animals and the, the you know, dirt and traction here. Eaton is providing brand new, state-of-the-art smart home technology. Everything will be voice activated with Alexa integration. Hey, so one of the challenges slash opportunities that we have on this makeover is to make life better for Aaron. What we have to do here is add little elements to this house that make his life easier. And one of them, Jake is working here uh, on some brand new smart receptacles, like light switches, that are voice activated. Jake, how do these help somebody who's blind, they can just talk, right? They don't so, have to flip the switch or find it. Correct, with a smartphone device, they can just speak right into the smartphone, say, living room lights on. The Alexa device will communicate with these, and these lights will go on automatically. Excellent, Nobody you ever shock yourself? Oh, yes I have. Former Navy SEAL Marcus Luttrell is here, and he's already been hard at work. Everybody out here is busting their butt, man, it's a good team. Me stepping in here was seamless, I just kinda, Blended in and started working. It's like that's what everybody else does around here. So, yeah, it's moving along good. So day one, and already we've got all of this that's been demoed out of the house, and we've got a full dumpster with all of that old stinky carpet and all that old debris. We had a big 30-yard dumpster delivered, thinking that it was gonna be sufficient for the whole job. This is day one, and it's already full. Hopefully, we don't need a third. already getting hot in that house. The AC isn't working. Oh, oh yes, God. Keisha. Oh, are you hot from talking? <laughs> I was, uh, you know, inspiring everyone in there. Uh, yeah, we'll get the AC working and that would be good. Yeah, who do we use for that? That was Goodman on the last house. Goodman HVAC, yeah. You know what, I'm gonna give them a call. They've been on the last few makeovers. They're awesome. Uh, we'll get it nice and cool for your design work. It has to be cool and comfortable for you. All right, Jen, Home Depot, let's what? go spend some money. <laughs> we're at Home Depot and we're buying everything we need, paint, tape, rollers, the gamut. I think we should do the Bear Premium Plus Ultra. Definitely. And your shirt is like the inspiration. I want to do some blues because think about it, calm and serene. Plus, this paint is good. It's self-priming. It'll go over the old paint. Yeah, but Bear Premium Plus, the bonus with that for me yeah. is zero VOC. So like everybody's not going to get choked out from fumes. I don't have to do a primer coat and everything. And we got to get it done. This is a lot of paint on this job. I know. And there are enough colors. I think there's like over 2,000 colors. How However, I have a specific color palette I want to do. Think about it. Aaron has had like a heavy past few years. So we are adding light and airy for everyone in the family. Blues, whites, khakis, loveliness. More importantly than this, we need like paint brushes and tape. I know, and I know, stuff I know, like I know. Let's get our order in <laughs> and then go on to the next adventure. All right, so we need a ton of brushes. I know, so I love Wooster because think about it. It's all about like, they're easy to clean. They're really good bristles so the like hair won't get into One of my the... favorite ones is this one right here, the little short handle. Well, we need a bunch, so let's hurry up and grab some. Make sure we get some of the delicate because we got fresh paint and the delicate won't tear the new paint off. Little trick, much better value. Instead of buying everything individual. What I love about this is honestly, we can get everything in one stop because we don't have time to go to a lot of places. I'm at Home Depot every day. With the painting supplies generously provided by the Home Depot, Jennifer is enlisting the help of our Wounded Warrior Project volunteers to tackle this painting juggernaut. Thank you for being here, you're awesome. Yay, how many are Air Force? How many are Navy? Marines? Oh, Army. Army. Yay. Yay. <laughs> Good to know. Who is willing to come in and paint? I have a couple moments that need paint. It's okay if you don't want to. Thank you, thank you. So whoever, <laughs> I don't need to point out who's ever done it. Um, 
Um, you seem guilty. Okay, you're doing great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Plus thank your you. shirt matches the wall. Kinda. Got a full-time Navy SEAL in here painting your walls for you. Just never thought that would happen. But we're getting your gym done up real nice, man. You're gonna enjoy it. You got the fun job. Hey, there. will you get up and talk to me, Dan? Yes, I sir. wanna know about Wounded Warrior Project. Wounded Warrior Project is a veteran service organization that serves post 9-11 warriors. Yeah. We help them with mental, physical, economic empowerment, and engagement, talking just like what you and I are doing. Mm. So like, you brought volunteers here. Everyone served, and is it every branch? Every branch, including the Coast Guard. <laughs> you guys are so mean to the Coast Guard. No, we love those guys, we do. No, that's awesome, because honestly, like, Aaron has had his own adventure, and obviously losing sight is never good, so I can imagine what all you guys face, and we appreciate you being this here. This is taking care of our brothers and sisters, that's what we did. Oh, you get a hug for that. Yeah, remember that. <laughs> and then I have to put you back to work. Thank I'm you so it. much. Thank you. So here's what I love about this room. This is their master bedroom, so think about it. It has to be a retreat. It needs to feel calm. You start and end your day here. But for Aaron, it's about, he can't see what we're doing. So I want it to be very like soft and cozy, but there's a lot to do. And I'm sweating, Ryan. Why I am know, I sweating? I know, I know, but listen, Goodman is actually on their way right now. So I would expect that the new AC will be up and running within 24 hours. Yeah, because Art's hiding in the RV. And I just saw him in there sleeping. It's I know. ridiculous. I know, I feel like we need to give him a job to do. But even better, I have some things I want to show you. Really? I'm, I'm excited. It's going to be so good. I've got to tell you, there's nothing better than a brand new AC delivery. We're finally going to get that heat relief we need to finish this makeover. Once again, the folks at Goodman have come through for us. So yeah, so we're getting a whole new system, yes. right? Yeah, Goodman's donating a high efficient system for us that we'll be installing. Amazing, those guys are fantastic. Uh, great product too, you like working with them, right? Absolutely, American made, it's yeah. a great product. Joe, I'm gonna pop my head up there just so I can say that I did if anybody okay. asks. Well, it's really hot up there. It is, and not a lot of room. I mean, there's plenty of storage space, but it's all filled up, so you're definitely gonna have your work cut out for you up here. And you're right, that duct work uh, definitely needs replacement and repair, right? We're gonna repair it with all new duct work. Uh, we're also going to seal the ductwork from the inside out with a new technology called Aero Seal. Oh, I'm gonna talk to you about that later, but I'm gonna let you get to work right okay, now. Great, thank you. All right, thanks, Joe. Yep. After an exhausting first day, I can honestly say we made some serious headway with this makeover. And with the help of our volunteers from Wounded Warrior Project and the Home Depot, we're gonna get it done. I make calls, I get done. All right, all right. I, I got things to do. Okay, bye. A number of Jennifer's texture design ideas are starting to take shape. This is gonna be amazing. I'm so excited. I wanna take this home to my house. The team from Tarcat has even begun installing the new floors. Well, we're ready to rock, for sure. We need to. We faced a few challenges today, and we have several ahead of us tomorrow. There's something up there that's so big that even the cats won't mess with it. But I know we'll get it all done in time. We always do. Fingers crossed. 